add uh, that logo to our documents and user defined fields, email signatures, and multi currency. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, Okay, uh, actually, uh, sometimes you may not understand uh, some parts of these uh, company settings. Don't worry, uh, when you are doing that transaction also, we will again go through these uh, relevant uh, company settings sections. Uh, then uh, actually, when you are doing transaction also, you can understand what we have initially discussed. Okay, now uh, we have completed uh, file creation we will add customers suppliers items uh, bank accounts gl accounts and uh, asset fix asset and analysis codes okay uh, first we will move to customers uh, you can click the customer from uh, by go to customer module click add the custom Uh, you can enter customer name here and uh, there's no customer code separate customer code uh, only customer name available you can enter customer name here then uh, you can enter the, or select customer category now for an example uh sometimes you may have customer uh, categories in your company uh for an example if you are in trading business if you want to view any report uh from customer categories uh we can create these customer categories and uh, when we are generating reports we can uh, generate report from customer category wise okay now for an example if you, are, if you want to view uh, from like uh, retail customers sales report you can select uh, retail from category uh, this uh, customer category mostly used for uh, report generation purposes uh, if you have different customer categories you can add customer category uh, if you are selling cash uh, cash sale for customers you can take this option then all other fields will be deactivated and uh, if you want to, if you are not, uh, or address contact details, you can untick this option. Okay. Uh, then opening balance. Now, uh, as we mentioned in earlier, uh, you may implement the system for old company or new company. Uh, 2020. You may have a customer opening balances. So in that case, you can enter that customer opening balance here. That date. Now, if you are entering, uh, if you are it as thirty first December twenty twenty. then uh, <clears throat> credit limit uh, you can if you are giving credit limit for a particular customer you can enter that credit limit for an example 
uh, if you are giving 100,000 credit limit for that customer, you can enter 100,000 here. And also, uh, if your customer is tax registered customer, you, you can enter customer tax number. And also, uh, if you are assigning a sales manager or sales rep to this customer, you can select that sales rep from here. Okay, then uh, this active is uh, earlier we discussed, uh, you can active or inactive customers from here by ticking or unticking, you can active or active customers. Then uh, next one, auto allocate receipts to oldest invoices. Now, uh, if you take this option, uh, when you are entering customer receipt, system will automatically allocate your receipt to oldest invoices. Now, uh, for an example, uh, if you have five invoices, outstanding invoices uh, from January, February, March, uh, April, May, and if you are enter any receipt to that customer, first system will allocate to oldest invoice uh, from January, it will allocate. Now I'll show you an example. Now I'll enter customer receipt. Okay, now I have a few outstanding invoices. Now I'll enter receipt amount here. Now uh, you can see automatically it allocated to all the invoices. Now I have sorted this. I'll enter again. Now you can see from here allocate. Okay, 